I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website globalmathinstitute.com. In this video, we'll discuss a very important concept dealing with continuity and differentiability of functions. We are going to use calculus, basically the concept of limits, to answer this particular question. So here is one of the test questions for you based on continuity and differentiability. I'd like you to pause the video, understand the question, answer, and then look into my suggestions. The question here is, find a and b to make the function f of x differentiable at x equals to 2. f of x is equal to ax cubed when x is less than 2 and b times x minus 3 whole square plus 10 when x is greater than or equal to 2. You can always pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Now before we get into the details of answering this particular question, let us understand the concept behind solving such questions. So one is the principle of continuity, which I have discussed earlier in my videos. We say that the function f is continuous at x equals to c if and only if f of c exists, the limit of the function exists at c and the value of the limit and the value of the function at c is exactly same. And based on this, we have done a couple of questions. I hope Practicing these questions will help you understand the concept. Now let me take differentiability concept. In differentiability, the function f is differentiable at x equals to c if the derivative of the function at c has a numerical value. If f is differentiable at every value of x in an interval, then f is differentiable on that interval. What is important to note here is that the limits of the derivative should exist for the differentiability at that particular point. Perfect. So you could do some test questions based on this concept and then get to the solution of question which we are looking into. So coming back to our question, we need to find the values of a and b, which is part of our piecewise function, so that it is differentiable at x equals to 2. So basically, it means that we are looking into two concepts. One is that it should be continuous. That will give us one equation. For continuity, we have that the limit at 2, when you are approaching from left side, and also when you are approaching from the right side, is exactly the same at x equals to 2. That will give us one equation. The second one is that the derivative of this particular function has the same value when you approach at that point from either side. You get the concept. So these two conditions will give us two equations which will help us solve for two parameters. Correct? So the idea is we need two equations, right? So we need two equations to solve. And therefore, we are going to get one from the concept of continuity, the other one from the concept of differentiability. So let's find out these two equations now. So as far as the function is concerned, we are given f of x as equal to ax cubed when x is less than 2 and it is b times x minus 3 whole square plus 10 when x is greater than or equal to 2. Now, as you know, cubic function is continuous and the quadratic function is also continuous in their domain. So the only value where it could be discontinuous is when x is equal to 2. Therefore, we are testing this function at this particular point. Correct? You can watch the video and see exactly how these two functions 
change with the change in value of a and b in the graph. So in the graph, you will notice that there is a particular value of a and b when it becomes continuous, as you can see, right? However, we have to be sure that at this point, it is also differentiable. That is the key to us. So I hope this visual look of the graphs for these two functions give you a better idea of what we are trying to do. Now, let us solve this algebraically. Perfect. So basically, we'll find the value of f of x at 2, right? So what happens at x equals to 2? That is what we are trying to figure out. So when the, we approach from the left side, that is to say that the limit when x is approaching 2 from the negative side, then the value of the function basically is what? Well, at this time, f of x is basically equals to ax cube, right? So it is a and the value of x I could write as 2 cube. And that gives me the value as 8a. Perfect. Now, when you approach from the right side, then the value is b times 2 minus 3 whole square plus 10. And this can be written as 2 minus 3 is minus 1. Square gives you 1. So b plus 10. So these two should be equal, right? So one equation which we have got from here is that 8a is equal to b plus 10. Let's call this as our first equation. Now for the second equation, let us find the derivative of this particular function. Now what is the derivative of this function? Let me write down the derivative of the piecewise function. Ax cube will give me a derivative of 3ax square for x less than 2. And b times x minus 3 whole square plus 10, the derivative will be 2b times x minus 3. And that is when x is greater than or equal to 2. Now, in case we're looking for the derivative at 2 from either side, what do we get? Well, substituting 2 here, we get 3 a 2 square and on this side we get 2 b 2 minus 3 perfect so that is from the left side and this is from the right side you can say that correct so this gives you another set of equations and that is we have 3 times 4 square 2 square is 4 4 times 3 is 12 so this basically is equal to what? This is basically equal to the limit when x is approaching from the left side for the derivative x. Do you see that? And this one is the limit when x is approaching 2 from the right side for the derivative of the function. You get the idea. Now these should be same for the function to be differentiable. And these values are 3a, 2 square is 4. So that gives me 12a, and that should be equal to 2b minus 1 times minus 1 gives me minus 2b, correct? So that gives you the value of b for us, or we can find the value of a, a as equal to minus 1 over 6b. You could write this. Or you could say b is equals to, you could divide this and get minus 6a. Is that okay? So this is better without any fractions. We'll use this as our second equation, correct? So we get b equals to minus 6a. Substituting the value of b here, we can find the value of a. You get the idea, right? So substituting b, we get what? We get 8a equals to minus 6a plus 10. And solving, we get bringing this on the right hand side, we get this implies that 2a, 14a rather, 6 plus 8, right? 14a is equal to 10. And that gives you the value of a as 10 over 14 or 5 over 7. Is that, is that clear to you? Well, finding a and then substituting the value of a, 
we can find the value of b as minus 6a. So I hope you got the concept, correct? Let us see the neatly typed out solution for this particular question. So we are looking into continuity and differentiability of a piecewise function. We basically want to find the value of a and b so that the function is differentiable at x equals to 2. Since there are two parameters, we need two equations. One equation will get from the concept of continuity and the other one from the concept of differentiability. So the limit of this particular function should exist at x equals to 2. That will make this function continuous, correct? So, so limit from the left side and limit from the right side for x equals to 2 should be exactly same. So that gives us an equation ax cube equals to bx minus 3 whole square plus 10 for x equals to 2, right? So we have to equate this for x equals to 2. So when we do that, 2 cube is 8, 8a eight equals to b plus 10, or b is 8a minus 10. On the other side, the derivative of the function should be same from both the sides. And that is to say that limit of the derivative of 2 when you're approaching from the left side and when you're approaching from the right side should be same. The derivative of ax cube is 3 times ax square. Derivative of bx minus 3 whole square is 2b times x minus 3. When we equate them and simplify, we get 12a equals to minus 2b or we can now write that a equals to 6a equals to minus b. Good. So 6a equals to minus b or b is minus 6a. One and the same thing or b equals to minus 6a. Substituting the value of b in the first equation, we get 8 minus 10 equals to minus 6a or 14a is 10 or a is 5 over 7. Now we can find the value of b, which is 8 times a minus 10. Substituting, we get the value of b as minus 30 over 7. Now, these are the only values for which the function can be differentiable. So we get the value of a as equal to 5 by 7 and the value of b as minus 30 by 7. You can now see the graph that exactly at this point, the two graphs are continuous and we have just checked that their derivatives from either side at x equals to 2 is exactly same. So it is also differentiable at this particular point. So I hope you understand and appreciate what we have done to prove or to find the value of a and b in this type of a question. It is extremely important question from test point of view and I hope that helps you to understand the concept. Feel free to write your comments, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that will be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.